if you look around, you know, you can feel and think to yourself like, okay, just a simple neighborhood in the Holy Land of Israel, but like that every fruit is different in its flavor, its smell, and look, also the streets, they are reflecting a different, different shade, different light of the Holy Land. The Holy Land of Israel is something very, very deep. It's not an aspect in learning. It's not a wisdom that is being discussed in the Bible. It's the place that the creator of the universe himself chose to, to be the place that will be called a house, a home for him. And not only for him, also to inherit to his children. This is very, very meaningful if you think about it. You would never give your child a place to live in if it's not the best place in the world. You would want your child to live in a place that is also beautiful, also stable and healthy, also with great potential for your child to rise, for your child to grow. And the Creator found this piece of land, this holy land, that in that holy land you can see radical oppositions standing one next to the other. And in the same time, they will reflect peace. The Holy Land of Israel has a gift in it. Here, for an example, it's written The way to begin is to stop talking and start doing. Doing what? This is a sign that is guiding every one of us to do what he believes that he should do. The land here holds within a great potential for every individual. And like we learned, this is a land that is called Eretz Hatzvi, the land of the deer. And the deer this wonderful animal has that nature in it that when it's alive, it's covered with its skin. But if someone is cutting off, peeling the skin off that animal, when you try to cover the animal back with the skin, you will never be able to do so because it's elastic as well the land of Israel is elastic and is expanding and getting wider and larger based on the amount of people who lives in it. Therefore, even though that today it seems to us like the land is small and tiny, the real truth is that it has this wonderful nature of being elastic and it can expand and grow to the amount of wonderful children of the Creator that will come and live among us. So don't think about how narrow and tiny and constricted it is today. Think about how wide, beautiful and magnificent you can make it tomorrow. Yeah, Udin,